Welcome back everybody to my channel. We are going over some more tricky past paper questions, this time on natural selection. So in preparation for this lesson, I'm going to leave up the questions and you can pause the video now if you want to attempt the question first. And then we're going to go through how you would unpack this question and how best to answer it. And at the very end of the video, I will put alongside the memo for you to look over and compare your answers to. Okay, let's unpack this particular question. So I selected this question because I thought it was a great example of what you should expect in the final exam. The guideline says that you need to know um, in particular one example of natural selection, whether it be the Galapagos finches, the tortoises, the boababs, the proteas. But the trick that they perhaps don't make you aware to is that they can actually ask you any animal or plant and you just have to know your natural selection work really well so that you can apply it to any So it's really important to familiarize ourselves with the introductory paragraphs, so let's do that now. It says that there are two variations of color in king snakes. Some have a bright colorful pattern, others have a dull. King snakes are non-poisonous. Coral snakes also have a bright color pattern, but they are poisonous to their predators, and this is a defense mechanism as predators avoid them. Scientists observed that where king snakes shared the same habitat with coral snakes, there were more king snakes that had bright colorful patterns. The diagram below represents the distribution of the snakes. And so we have our coral snakes represented by our circles, and then our bright and our dull king snakes in our triangles. Now it's important to unpack a really important concept here that they're trying to get across to you. They are saying that there are these king snakes and there are coral snakes, two different species. And this is something that we would have learned very early on in life sciences and maybe you remember it, but it's called mimicry. Mimicry is when one species mimics another species coloring so that Predators think that they are poisonous, but in actual fact, they're completely harmless. They just have similar coloring to their poisonous um, cousins. So let's have a look at the questions. 321 says, explain how bright color pattern coral snakes influences their survival. So they simply want you to tell them, how does the brightly colored coral snake what does that do for them for their survival? Well, they mentioned it right in the beginning of the paragraph. And they said that this is a defense mechanism against predators so that they avoid them and that also that they are poisonous. So this question is for three marks, which means we need to stipulate three things. And we need to acknowledge three things. The first thing that we need to acknowledge is that the bright color pattern is seen as being poisonous, one mark. This is a defensive mechanism, second mark. And finally, the third mark is to say that this defense mechanism improves their survival, and they will be able to survive and reproduce. And that's how you get your three marks. The second question, 3.2.2, says that we must use Darwin's theory of evolution through natural selection to explain why there are more brightly colored king snakes in this habitat. And effectively, what they want you to do now is they want to take that template answer that we can get from our exam guideline from the government. It's online. You can download it. And it's like a template answer. And what I mean by that is it has a very basic outline of how we explain natural selection. I'm going to put it alongside for you now so that you can see it. All right, here it is alongside, and as you can see, this is on page 14 of the guidelines, and effectively what this is shows us how best to answer this next question. So this is what I would call a, a template answer, the one that we find in the exam guideline. And there's some key things that you always need to include in your explanation of natural selection, and they are the following, that organisms produce a large number of offspring, there is variation in that offspring. Some have favorable characteristics. 
And if there is a change in the environmental conditions or if there's competition, then those organisms with the characteristics that made it more suited to survive, whilst other organisms that are unfavorable make them less suited and they die. The organisms that survive reproduce and thus they pass the allele on to their favorable characteristics onto their offspring. There is a higher proportion in the next generation and in that way a population gradually changes over a long period of time. Now this is a template answer which means that we cannot use this answer as is for our snake example. Instead what we are going to have to do is we're going to have to substitute in our coral snakes and our king snakes. In particular, we're going to focus in on the king snakes, the dull color versus the bright color. We can't forget that important piece of information they gave us right at the beginning of this. Why would they tell us that there's a dark and a light color or a bright and a dull color? Effectively, we would change this answer and we would insert those characteristics. So we could say something like organisms now we're not going to say organisms, we're going to say king snakes produce a large number of offspring. There is a variation amongst their colors. Some have bright colors, and if the environment changes, then those with the more suited or more favorable survive, whilst the organisms or the snakes with the dull colors are less suited to survive. Then we need to point out that those with the unfavorable characteristics, in this case, which is the dull-colored uh, snake, they are going to die, which means that organisms that have the favorable quality, which is the brightly color, they're going to reproduce, they are going to pass this allele on, and there is going to be a higher proportion of brightly colored king snakes than there are dull and so what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to insert the memo answer so that you can see it and that you can look over it. My biggest suggestion to you is to learn this Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection from your exam guideline. Know it almost off by heart, but be able to apply it to any of the possible animals that they may give you. So I've just inserted the memo above the uh, exam guidelines, so please have a look through it, mark your work, and don't forget to check out all my other exam question videos where I look at really tricky exam questions from past papers, use them as revision, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!